Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. This is, it used to be Artist Loft White with GAC 800 and Floetrol in it. And right now I added, I doubled it by having my Sherwin Williams go in there as well. I'd like some paint to flow, but I also want to put some colors in there. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm really, really experimenting a lot today. I tried to, when I did my last painting that was a sky, I tried to color the white with some vivid intense that wasn't dark enough, but I used the phalo red-blue and it was dark enough. So I'm going to take a chance right now. That was the, um, the concentrated color. This version is the color that I added just on your gloss varnish and um, vivid polypore, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put it on the white paint on my blade rather than anywhere else. And I think I'm going to add some red violet to it as well, which is a vivid, intense fluorescent. And I want some Miami magenta. And this could be a complete mistake. We won't know for a minute. It would be nice if it would come out though. There we go. Something's coming. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Small explosion. Way more paint than I need. Grab a scrape dish. And go to town. Fortunately, the truth is that the Sherwin Williams White does a pretty darn good job thinning out the color. I might grab that paint right back again. I'm looking for a fast and simple sky. But I don't do that many things that are very simple, so it makes it kind of hard to promise that. But as long as I get coverage, I should be pretty happy. Where's that paint? I'm going to take it back again. going down below the horizon line because I'm going to add a landscape. I don't want to bleach out what I've got left. I like the colors in my sky now. I might want to blow into it. I might want some more Miami magenta, honestly. Scrape what I can get out of my dish. Once I get lines I like, it's hard to want to get rid of them. I do like the idea of some of the white in the sky showing through, like you know, like clouds or sky would. I also like the idea of taking the paint that matches off the spatula, putting it right now, right along the top. I can always add more if I shortchange myself. But at least I have something there. And I do want to do that, actually. I want to take out that thing that I see that does not belong, firstly. Which sometimes is a texture in the canvas. It cannot be helped. All right, somewhere here I have a straw. There it is. 
My turntable is a different turntable than my usual, so it does keep rotating, so excuse me. I just want to add texture to my sky. And because I know there's a little flow troll in there, I'm not worried about it. But I kind of want to put a little bit more red violet right along my spatula on the residual white paint that's there since I can see how heavy this is. doesn't really want to mix in. At all. Here we go, I got some mixing. It's pretty subtle, but it's okay. I like to put clouds in using my spatula. So we'll pretend those are clouds for now. I'll wipe off any residual paint I have on the bottom half. And when that timer goes off, I'll probably reset it and come back again. In the meantime, I don't think that sky's going anywhere. But this spatula is going in the bucket. Now I just did a pour. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to use my Artist Loft as a base coat and a bunch of other paint colors and swipe across. This is, I'm a color art affiliate. This is Abalone. This is a prism pour. I don't use it as much as I should, so I don't mind putting it in here. That's Fandango. That's a prism pour. I'll probably put more of that in there. This is Aztec Bronze. It is a Vivid Intense, and I'm hoping it's not plugged, because it looks like it's plugged. But I got some out. Yay! Cool. Here is another Vivid Intense. This is Tuscan Gold. Not coming out. Well, I gotta check on my bottle tips. I could hear the marble. Ha! Huh. Sometimes, if it's very fluid, the marble will go right to the tip. This is some sea glass. Some wintergreen. The more random I put it down, the more interesting it gets by the time it's done. This is some triple sec, which has an issue of its own. I'm going to use a little peacock. Burnished copper. I want some gold. I have some too. I have some claret. I will list the colors underneath the video with their designated for their designations. This is claret. green tea in there. I'm not thrilled lately with the colors as I put them down, but I'm pretty happy with them once they're down and swiped. This is Wild Orchid. I think I need a darker purple or 
a very dark blue. How about the Midnight Shadow? It's locked up tight. Okay, can I get that out of there quickly? These sharp tweezers are on my Amazon link. Time for a new label. And if I'm lucky, and I push them into the tip of the tip of the bottle cap, they'll pull everything out. And I have to remember to take, take that off, but it comes off pretty easily. So my sky is really subtle. Not sure about those colors at all. And I still want some purple. I'm going for the indigo violet. Alright, so I'm going to grab my cell activator and my biggest spatula and put cell activator along the right hand side. I still want gold. Still want gold. I've got some Mayan gold. That'll work. That's a lot of paint, but that's okay. Got to remember right hand side. I have been mixing it up lately and putting a little bit of white cell activator in with my black. I don't know how I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try it again. And it looks like I've got schmutz in my painting. I want that out. I'm trying to clean off the tweezers on my pants while I'm holding, balancing them. Come on, off you go. Got it. Hopefully that'll do. And I didn't drip. Let's tip this down a little bit. Who knows what's going to come out of this, i got to say. I have no idea. Let's grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Pick up some of my lost cells. Put them back down again. It's time to grab an edge catcher. And maybe put a little more paint along. Both sides. That went up. I should have started not quite so high up. I do have an edge catcher. I'm going to retrieve it right now. I'm going to let everything go down first. And puddle. Rock it ever so gently. Send it to the other side. Send it right back into the picture again. I'm not so sure about that wintergreen. I don't think I like it. But I've been known to change my mind from time to time, so I'm not going to worry about it yet. Come on. I'd like to not be taking the paint off the top of the sky. This might not work at all, but I will find a way to make it work. I see a large lump of something that does not belong. Which 
which I will do my best to pull out in a moment. Maybe we'll just go right back again. Squeeze that color right back on. Give us some kind of mountain or gully or something. Usually I can take the paint right off my edge catcher. Which I'm planning on doing right now if I can find a space to do it. my three minutes. I'm always glad when the timer still works. All right, I've got some paint from yesterday. I'm not sure what to do with it. If it's viable, I'm going to use it. I'm not sure it's viable either. But paint will flow to paint. Glop will even flow to glop. Good thing too. Let's use my leftover glop on the edge. I got a tree. going with waterfalls lately. That big thing needs to go out. It was just a bubble. Wow. Okay then. Can I get anything to flow up and over? I usually put purple on. I'm wondering where my straw is at. There we go. My mountain's getting bigger all the time. <laughs> I might have an inclination to swipe the bottom half down here. Put some more cells in. I don't think I really like that blue. I'm not sure about any of this, honestly. But that could change, and it does. Looking for objects to remove or bubbles to pop with my tweezers. It's getting better. Turntable turning is not helpful. Paint chips are not allowed. Still thinking there's some purple in my future. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Hi there. I have had a moment to get some of the paint off my hands, clean my tools, pop a bubble or two, but I haven't done much of anything else to this. But I think I'm going to do something else to it. I'm not a big fan of this down here. And I'm going to take a little bit of deep amethyst. Put it up there. For some mountains supposedly in the background. We'll see. And how about some cell activator? And I'm 
going to give it some Fandango right on top of the cell activator once and find out what that's going to be like. Wipe that off again, too. Because I might want to use it right away. There's too much paint on it to get, use my studio rag up. So I go to the bucket. That's a little better for me. I kind of want pop that bubble. I'm not sure about that bronze. I kind of want. A little bit more of the amethyst. And somewhere around here. I have a skewer. So now I've got some rocks or some mountains in the background and I'm tickling my head with my own impedance trying to keep my head out of the way has a I have a green green piece of tape holding marble which probably anybody who watches me regularly has seen and I was just running into it and it was getting felt really strange all right, I'm a much happier person for doing that. I think I want to use this Tuscan gold a couple of places though. I might be sorry. I was gonna use something else, but I think I'm gonna put it back. cell activator. I kind of want to put some white with it, but I'm going to resist. Every time I've got to check. Left side this time. Wipe that off again. Don't mind putting little lumps at the bottom. It looks like there's a foreground. This time I'm going to scrape that off. Where though? <laughs> there's my scrape dish. Scrape it off, wipe it off. I've got this over here. I don't think I need very much of that. I'm going to use a little purple. Oh, I need cell activator first. That didn't get me a lot of cells. Yet. Pop that bubble. I don't like that in there. That's bugging me. So, it's got to go 
forever or not. That's gotta go too. I want purple. Right on top. That's deep amethyst. If I don't drag my straw through, I'm much happier. It is what it is, and I'm stuck with it the way it is until tomorrow. I think that's the plan. I'm not sure that I made a wise decision when I added paint to my uh, Sherwin Williams to my artist loft. But since I've got it, I might as well use it. All right, good for now. I love you guys. I'll see you anon shortly, actually, in a second maybe. Okay, so now this is dry and it's the next day but I want to play with it in a bunch of different ways. I've got my skewer handy. I've got my balloon. And I want to put some clouds in the sky. I've got to leave the bottles around because the turntable is still shifting around on me. I'm going to put a little bit of this red-violet and hope that that's going to be what works. I'm also going to put a little bit of this morning light because it's off-white, pale gray, perfectly. So let's just try something. Figure as long as there's some white paint already on the balloon. We've got a shot at blending things together. That morning light doesn't show up much at all. I might have just ruined all of it. <laughs> I think I like the purple clouds. Waggle, a balloon waggle. Kind of like that too. Not so much that mark down there though. Looks like they're catching a breeze. I don't know how much more I need, actually. Just dampen the canvas. A little wrist action. I like that. <laughs> I throw a little bit of that morning light down here. Remember to waggle.
probably put out more paint than I need. Better more than than not enough, I think. I think I want something else up here. I think I like the morning light mixed with the red violet very much. Run it over the top. I like that morning light for a low light. You can't really kiss it. I kind of want to move over up into this corner, so I guess I'm going to go for it. And use the original sky just as a background. So maybe I didn't have too much color. Don't have any hard lines up there. Part of me is inclined to use my little tiny balloon, but I want to save it for something else. So we're just gonna. We're going to put up with getting rid of that. We're going to throw that balloon onto a sponge so I can recover it. Now, what I've been thinking about doing is putting some trees in. So I'm going to use some fresh pine, which is a primary element. Probably already gave myself more paint than I need. I'm going to use a little bit of indigo violet. Some Fandango, which is almost out. A little green tea. I'm thinking about the sea glass, but I don't think that's... I think that'll work. Alright, so this is my idea. Just grab a little bit of everything. Not sure I can get away with this, but we'll find out in a minute. Indigo violet makes a good dark green shadow. Don't mind that at all. I think I'm just going to keep using my bamboo skewer with a paintball on the end. I want a little something, something for trunks. I think I can get away with using the uh, the 
indigo violet. I'm not sure though. I think I'm going to use the tweezers. I want to use a little tiny bit of that indigo violet for shadow. And keep adding trees. Can't leave too many spaces between them. They won't look like a forest that way. I think they. Oh, you know what? They're on the bluff. This little flat area looks like a bluff. So what else? I was gonna add more of these trees down here. I'll just call it good. Just pulling little blobs out side to side. Making them look like organic shapes. If they look like real pine trees or real evergreens, they probably have some some tree trunks showing in between, but I think I'm not going to judge myself too harshly right now. I kind of like them actually. I'm not 100% certain about this over here. I think I want some more up the mountainside. I could probably put them everywhere. sure want to put some in here. Just grabbing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I can take my tweezers and mess them or mess around in them. finish these first. They're not meant to be accurate trees. They're just meant to give the impression of trees. And I think I'm succeeding in that at least. I was afraid I was going to ruin it, but I'm kind of liking it, so I'm not feeling too bad about that possibility happening. I don't know that I need any trunks. I think I might have said that already. I can always add them later if I want to.
All right, I think I want to add a couple of highlights up there just to make it look like the sun is coming from some particular direction by adding a few dots of that fandango on what should be the right hand side of the trees but is sort of all over the place. But I like it better now. have a split tip on my paintball which is actually working very well to make it look like there's multiple trees along that edge and I'm liking all of that too. It's a makeshift paintbrush I guess of sorts. So I see there's something sticking up here and so that's compelling me to Put a couple more trees up in the up in the glacier. Although I think it makes it show more than it did before. I tried to camouflage it. That's better. <laughs> trees for days. I got paint in my dish and I got a mountain covered with trees so that seems like the perfect solution to get rid of my paint and to add a little bit of interest. I do like the layers and the, uh, the look of dimension that as you add things draws the eye back into the composition. I like the sky better. I kind of want to put a sun like right there. You know what? I've got a uh, no not unless it's a lot smaller. Maybe a lot less orange. doesn't seem to want to come out. There we go. Might be done with my paint. I gotta be careful not to stick my hand in anything wet. There's plenty of it. It's the tweezers. I need something sharper. Although they've got paintballs on their tips as well. A little bit of trouble seeing. But they're not prescription glasses, they're just readers for the studio. Alright, whatever I haven't told you is I have 32 playlists. 31 of them have 100 videos on them each. The last one is one I'm making up right now. If you're interested in any particular genre like landscapes or seascapes, if you mention it to me, I will give you a playlist and comments. I appreciate your comments, by the way. Keep my morale boosted. 
I appreciate your donations through PayPal. You keep me painting at YouTube. I'm liking all my little changes. They're not extreme or excessive, and that's kind of cool in itself. I didn't ever wind up using my little my little balloon, and I wanted to. But if I do, I'm going to lose all my time. Well, if I put if there's suddenly some red trees in here, that would be kind of cool. I'll see you guys anon. Whatever I forgot to tell you, you'll see in another video. It's autumn in the moon at the mountain. There. I got my red trees. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please don't forget the thumbs up. Share my videos if you would mind to. Watching them longer all the way through is great. Um, the 20% off color art coupon code is under show more, along with the 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code, which will allow you to find Australian Flow Troll and Boom Gel and Poop Heavier Paints. I'm a color art affiliate, so you help me when you shop that way. My link tree has everything on it. And I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I wish I had remembered to shimmer this at you, but I, maybe I got 20 seconds to do that. Who knows? It's shimmery. Cool. I like it. I might put some trunks on those red trees. I know it's probably hard to see them right now. What have I forgotten? My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. If you need anything from me, you're welcome to shop my Amazon link and you'll find the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, the best paint spreading tool I know of. And you help me out by shopping that way at no other cost to you. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork. I'm not sure why my timer hasn't stopped, but I love you guys. 